Hi, so we're back at Poldew, and this week we're going to be talking about the five principles of escaping the bucket. So the mnemonic is temper, not temper, because that requires an E and an R, but temper. And I thought the easiest way to remember that is like temper, but it's what maybe the crabs display when they're in that bucket and they're all scrabbling around and one's trying to do something different and the others start putting it back. So I thought temper. What does temper stand for? Well, the first thing, T for time. Are you really in control of your time? Do you know where your time goes? Do you monitor it? No, probably not because we wake up and we do stuff and we finish stuff and then it's the end of the day. But when we take a step back and then start to monitor our time, what we suddenly find is that maybe there's a lot of wasted time in the day. So next week, I'm gonna show you a little way of just helping with that time, helping figure out where it goes, um, where we really want it to go, where we really choose to spend our time that's gonna help us as best as it possibly can. The E of temper stands for environment. Now look at this environment behind me here. Beautiful poldew. The waves are rolling in. It's absolutely stunning this morning. What could be better? But it's not just the environment that we live in, but the environment we surround ourselves with. So have a look around where you work, where you live, your commute. Is that really good? Is that really beneficial? Does it help you all the time? Possibly not. And again, that might be another bucket, another source of unhappiness for you. The third one is money. Now, a big thing for us, especially at Serenity Financial Planning, because yes, we get involved with money. Not until we've figured out what's really important to the people that we work with. But money, again, can hold you back. Do you really know where your money goes? Does the money ferry come flitting along and take stuff out of your account in the night? But you don't really know where it goes. Does it help you in any way, shape or form? Or do you tend to find that sometimes just you have too much month at the end of the money? And there's always stuff that you wish you could really do, but you never get around to actually doing it. So again, yeah, we'll have a look at the money and give you some good examples and some good practices to maybe start to put into place as we go through the weeks. Priorities, big one. Okay, where are your priorities? And not the things that you feel obliged to do, but the things that you really want to do. The things that are gonna make you want to jump out of bed in the morning. Go and do the things that are really, really important to you. The things that really will align with you and your life to help you really understand the actions that you need to take. How to align everything else. What to do with your money. What to do with your pensions. What to do with your investments. What to do with all the basic stuff that comes along day in, day out. Because once we really understand the key things for us, and it extends to time, it extends to associations as well. When we understand all of that, then we can really start to build a plan that's gonna take us to where it is that we want to go. And finally, it is A for associations. And associations, they're the people we surround ourselves with, day in, day out. Now, all the people that you spend time with, do they make you feel really good? Do they make you happy? Do they inspire you? Or do they perhaps drag you down? Do you feel resentful? And it's, it's not just them all the time. It might be things that they do. But quite often we tend to find that we sort of grow into the people that we circulate with. If you circulate with healthy, fit people, chances are you'll be healthier and fitter. If you associate with people who like to go out and have six or seven beers every Friday night, chances are you'll go out and have six or seven beers every night. And again, if we want to be moving forward, doing the things that are really important to us, then that's what perhaps we need to reflect on. Are the people around us keeping us in the bucket because they're a little bit fearful of what we might become, or that they won't have that relationship with us, or even they might lose a little bit of control over us? So there we are, the five principles of escaping the bucket, the time, environment, money, priorities, and associations. We're gonna kick off having a really good look at time and how you spend your time.